Hello everyone, it's SpursRail96 here, and welcome to another Train Symbol 2 roadmap video. Today, Dovetail Games have put out the latest update that concerns the roadmap, so let's take a look at the details. Let's start with the highly anticipated, and certainly a route I'm looking forward to, the old school 1958 Spirit of Steam route. It is progressing nicely, and Dovetail have uh, got some screenshots to share with us today, as well as an exclusive teaser video which has been released on their YouTube channel. Uh, but first, here's a quick word from uh, Train Sim World 2's executive producer Matt Pedalston on the spirit of steam. He says, Work continues on the steam locomotives, with much of the effort continuing to refine the steam physics simulation itself, along with particles and audio. I'm happy to report the route is now looking fantastic, and it is really quite something navigating through Edge Hill Yard or crossing the viaduct into Runcorn. The team is still extremely busy with the last stages of development, and it's coming together rather nicely. And it certainly looks to be, I mean, judging by this screenshot here, uh, it certainly captures the feel of the bygone era of steam, which extends you know, beyond the detailed locomotives and rolling stock. Uh, the team has put seemingly many hours into recreating some of the most aesthetically pleasing period railway buildings and architecture. And yeah, it pretty much uh, feels like we're taking a step back in time, that's for sure. Now, of course, much of our time will be spent at the helm of these wonderful steam machines, as such, modelling the details and features of the cab had to be flawless. Uh, this highly detailed and feature-rich environment is so true to the real thing. It's even got the driver's flask <laughs> gradually warming over the firebox, so that's quite a nice touch as well. Uh, now, recreating the route as it was in 1958 introduces steam locomotives in their twilight years. Dirty and weathered locos are synonymous with this era, so Dovetail were keen to make this a focal point, where adding the finishing touches to each locomotive, a polite nod to the sad decline of British steam. Now, in this picture here at full steam, this Jubilee Express train, or passenger train, thunders past some of the many signals and signal gantries you will encounter along the route. With an interesting mix of colour light and traditional semaphore signals, the signalling team worked tirelessly to recreate this era of gradually adapting and signalling methods. Now, Dovetail hope over the coming weeks to provide more details in terms of live streams and roadmap articles and all that kind of stuff in terms of the process of adapting the audio and simigraph of Steam. So, yeah, I, I will definitely be looking uh, to cover that as well, so make sure to stick around on the channel for that. Now let's turn our attention to the Creators Club in terms of the logo decals. Dovetail promised an update on the logo decals due to be added to the Creators Club in the future. And finally, the list uh, has been uh, finally completed. There is uh, Here is the current list of approved logos which we'll be aiming to release soon. Uh, these concerns such as Avanti West Coast, Thameslink, MDF, Network West Midlands, Flying Scotsman, which is an interesting one, Great Western Railway, Railpool, Ratisha Barn, Transport for London, uh, the London Underground, uh, London Overground, Southern, Union Pacific, Building America, VTG Rail, VVO, and the West Midlands Railway. Now, one thing that has uh, cropped up in the roadmap all of a sudden, which surprised me, was the DBBR187 that was released by uh, Skyhook Games. Now, Skyhook have been working quite hard, actually, to continue to improve the DBBR 187 based on our, I suppose, rather vocal feedback. Their initial focus is the safety systems and primarily their functionality and the audio with a view to address audio, which is providing a more complicated improvement further down the line. These improvements needed to be tested and put into an update, so as of yet we have no dates, but work is ongoing, which is rather uh, good to see. Now let's turn our attention to the Bakerloo line in terms of timetable improvements. Now preservation crew updates continue to be work on, with the next batch of releases set to hit around the time of the Spirit of Steam releases. Now I imagine Spirit of Steam maybe could come out at a guess, maybe towards the end of May, if not the beginning of June. Uh, excitingly, though, they've added a new entry into the roadmap, and that is the long-awaited Bakerloo line timetable improvements. Now, Dovetail previously stated that they needed four improvements within the current tool set in order to make this a reality. Whilst at this point only three of those have been completed, the team have managed to identify a way to improve the timetable without its final piece of the jigsaw. These improvements are now ready for testing. Excellent. We will provide more information at a later date, 
but you can expect over 600 playable services to be added to a new timetable for the route. That is absolutely fantastic. Originally, I think the timetable final number was originally going to be 420. Um, this is when like Train Sim World 2 first came out. Then, of course, Dovetail discovered there were many hurdles to navigate. And not only have they navigated those hurdles, but they've added even more services. So <laughs> as a keen timetable person myself, and I <laughs> make a series on timetables, which you can check in the playlist at the end of the, the um, end of this video. Yeah, more the merrier. That's, that's all I can say. <laughs> now, uh, let's take a look at... Um, in terms of the priority improvements, and one of them, which uh, first comes to mind, is the PlayStation 5 DLC limit. Now, work continues with this complex issue. The system they have been building, which has been given the green light by Sony, provides mounted add-ons in the game's uh, back-end, meaning that in any one game session, players will only access the content that they have chosen to play. By, by way of a progress update, Dovetail have built the root and loco selection side of the tool, as well as the livery editor, with the final pieces of the jigsaw, the scenario planner and creators club, being worked on now. These then need to be tested thoroughly before release. Dovetail expect to start testing at the start of May. Uh, another issue that concerns uh, the console market is the Xbox side of things in terms of the audio. Work continues on rebuilding a new Xbox audio engine, which is required, which is the required fix to improve the Jackhammer sound issue. The good news is that they are hoping to test a first prototype build of this any day now. The testing will confirm whether this approach resolves the issue, but to be clear, this doesn't mean that a resulting fix will be imminent. Uh, once Dovetail have the prototype and have proved the issue is resolved, uh, they can then start doing performance testing on it in order to verify, you know, it's, it's going to stress the already tight memory conditions on the Xbox, and if so, start to look at what the options will be for resolving that. Uh, another problem, this pretty much concerns, I suppose, a majority of people, regardless what platform you play on, is the dispatcher and red light issues. Now, Dovetail launched an update earlier uh, in May or April, uh, specifically targeting issues players were experiencing on the New York Harlem line. Whilst it fixed some services, it's become pretty clear that some services are still incompletable, especially those approaching Grand Central Terminal. Uh, Dovetail will be continue to, continuing to work through these to release as future patches. Um, another one is performance improvements, and work continues, um, and Dovetail hope to spend some time particularly after the spirit of Steam releases, focusing on improvements to performance, particularly on the rush hour routes. You'll notice uh, the rush hour passengers on London Commuter has been on the roadmap for some time, and this is because they want to improve the current performance on the route before putting additional strain on the game. Now, uh, as far as just a brief list of the roadmap itself, these are the forthcoming add-ons that have been developed by Dovetail Games. They are the Spirit of Steam, Liverpool Lime Street to Crew, uh, the new German route and the new USA route. In terms of other releases, the DBBR 420 for Hopped Strecker München to Augsburg is still in development. In terms of core features, they have approved license brand decals for the livery designer, the PlayStation 5 add-on limit fix and the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 profile transfer. Um, in terms of the preservation crews um, update, uh, they've added a, uh, a scale of the size of the work uh, that is put into the respective preservation update. Um, so here is a, a new updated list for you. So Harpstrecker Rheinruhr, which is medium. Uh, Rursig Nord, which is large. Great Western Express, which is large. Rapid Transit, which is medium. Thankfully for me. <laughs> Northern Transpennine, which is medium. Excellent. Uh, Scottish Commuter, or the Glasgow Cathcart Circle Line, is tiny. Same goes for Hopped Strecker Hamburg Lübeck. Uh, Rheinwehr Austin is at medium. West Somerset Railway is at uh, tiny. Uh, the new 2022 London Underground Bakerloo Line timetable, which is 600 plus services, that thankfully is a small amount of work required. Same goes for the Long Island Railroad. Peninsula Corridor, though, unfortunately, is a huge, apparently, job that um, uh, that will take time to bring the respective fixes and uh, upgrades and improvements to. So, yeah, I'm afraid the wait for Peninsula Corridor 
will be going on for a rather long time. I wouldn't be surprised that <laughs> we'll get to Christmas this year and uh, we still won't have the uh, preservation update. But of course, I'm just joking. Um, and finally, uh, we have Oakville Subdivision, which is another huge one. And thankfully for me, LGV Mediterrane, which has a, a small, tiny scale of work to do. And there we are. That concludes this roadmap update. Of course, if you'd enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more Train Sim World content and news from me. And as always, I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Take care.